Geography of Cambodia Cambodia is a country in mainland Southeast Asia, bordering Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, the Gulf of Thailand and covers a total area of. The country is situated in its entirety inside the tropical Indomalayan ecozone and the ICT. Cambodia's main geographical features are the low-lying central plain that includes the Tan Lai Sap Basin, the lower Mekong River floodplains and the Basak River plain surrounded by mountain ranges to the north, east, in the southwest and south. The central lowlands extend into Vietnam to the southeast. The south and southwest of the country constitute a long coast at the Gulf of Thailand, characterized by sizable mangrove marshes, peninsulas, sandy beaches and headlands and bays. Cambodia's territorial waters account for over 50 islands. The highest peak is Phnom Oral, sitting above sea level. The land mass is bisected by the Mekong River, which it is the longest river in Cambodia. After extensive rapids, turbulent sections and cataracts in Laos, the river enters the country at Stung Trang province, is predominantly calm and navigable during the entire year as it widens considerably in the lowlands. The Mekong's waters disperse into the surrounding wetlands of central Cambodia and strongly affect the seasonal nature of the Tin Lai Sap Lake. Two thirds of the country's population live in the lowlands, where the rich sediment deposited during the Mekong's annual flooding makes the agricultural land shyly fertile. As deforestation and overexploitation affected Cambodia only in recent decades, forests, low mountain ranges and local eco-regions still retain much of their natural potential and although still home to the largest areas of contiguous and intact forests in mainland Southeast Asia, multiple serious environmental issues persist and accumulate, which are closely related to rapid population growth, uncontrolled globalization and inconsequent administration. The majority of the country lies within the tropical savanna climate zone, as the coastal areas in the south and west receive noticeably more and steady rain before and during the wet season. These areas constitute the easternmost fringes of the southwest monsoon, determined to be inside the tropical monsoon climate. Countrywide there are two seasons of relatively equal length, defined by varying precipitation as temperatures and humidity are generally high and steady throughout the entire year. Southeast Asia consists of allochthonous continental blocks from Gondwana land. These include the South China, Indochina, Sibu Masu, and West Burma blocks, which amalgamated to form the Southeast Asian continent during the Paleozoic and Mesozoic periods. The current geological structure of South China and Southeast Asia is determined to be the response to the indo sinian collision in Southeast Asia during the Carboniferous. The Indo-Sinian orogeny was followed by extension of the Indo-Chinese block, the formation of rift basins and thermal subsidence during the early Triassic. The Indochina continental block, which is separated from the South China block by the Jinsha Jiang A Laos Han Suture zone, is an amalgamation of the Viet Lao, Korat Kontum, Otaradit, United, and Chiang Mai West Katan terrains, all of which are separated by suture zones or ductal shear zones. The Korat Kontum terrain which includes western Laos, Cambodia and southern Vietnam, consists of the Kontum metamorphic complex, Paleozoic shallow marine deposits, Upper Permian arc volcanic rocks and Mesozoic terrigenous sedimentary rocks. The central plains consist mainly of Quaternary sands, loam and clay, as most of the northern mountain regions and the coastal region are largely composed of Cretaceous granite, Triassic stones and Jurassic sandstone formations. Bull or saucer-shaped Cambodia covers in the southwestern part of the Indochinese Peninsula as its land mass and marine territory is situated entirely within the tropics. The bow's bottom represents Cambodia's interior, about 75%, consisting of alluvial floodplains of the Tan Lai Sap Basin, the lower Mekong River and the Basak River Plain, whose waters feed the large and almost centrally located wetlands. As humans preferably settle in these fertile and easily accessible central lowlands, major transformations and widespread cultivation through wet rice agriculture have over the centuries shaped the landscape into distinctive regional cultivated lands. Domestic plants, such as sugar palms, coconut trees and banana groves almost exclusively skirt extensive rice paddies, as natural vegetation is confined to elevated lands and near waterways. The Mekong traverses the north to southeast portions of the country, where the low-lying plains extend into Vietnam and reach the South China Sea at the Mekong Delta region. Cambodia's low mountain ranges, representing the walls of the bowl, remain as the result of only rather recent substantial infrastructural development and economic exploitation, in particular in remote areas, formidably forested. 
The country is fringed to the north by the Dangrek Mountains Plateau, bordering Thailand and Laos, to the northeast by the Annamite Range, in the southwest by the Cardamom Mountains and in the south by the Elephant Mountains. Highlands to the northeast and to the east merge into the Central Highlands and the Mekong Delta Lowlands of Vietnam. A heavily indented coastline at the Gulf of Thailand of length and 60 offshore islands, that dot the territorial waters and locally merge with tidal mangrove marshes, the environmental basis for a remarkable range of marine and coastal eco-regions. Sandy materials cover a large proportion of the landscape of Cambodia, on account of the silicious sedimentary formations that underlie much of the kingdom. Mesozoic sandstone dominates most of the basement geology in Cambodia and hence has a dominating influence on the properties of upland soils. Arena sols, sandy soils featuring very weak or no soil development, are mapped on only 1.6% of the land area. Sandy surface textures are more prevalent than the deep sandy soils that fit the definition for arena sols. Sandy textured profiles are common amongst the most prevalent soil groups, including acrosols and leptosols. The acrosols are the most prevalent soil group occupying the lowlands, nearly half of the land area of Cambodia. Low fertility and toxic amounts of aluminium pose limitations to its agricultural use. Crops that can be successfully cultivated include rubber tree, oil palm, coffee and sugar cane. The main subgroups are gliac acrosols, 20.5%. Haplic acrosols, 13.3%, plinthic acrosol, 8.7%, and ferric acrosol, 6.3%. The vast alluvial and lacustrine interconnected Cambodian floodplain is a geologically relatively recent depression where the sediments of the Mekong and its tributaries accumulate as waters are subject to frequent course changes. The area covers the Dinlay Sap Lake and River system occupies the lowest area. The Tinle Sap River is a waterway that branches off the Mekong near Phnom Penh in the northwesterly direction and meets the Tinle Sap Lake after a round. Its waters flow reverses direction every year, caused by greatly varying amounts of water carried by the Mekong over the course of a year and the impact of monsoonal rains, that coincides with the river's maximum. The plains of the Mekong and Tinle Sap Basin are confined in the north by the Dangrek and Central Annamite Mountains and to the south by the Cardamom Mountains and Elephant Mountains. The plains completely surround the Tinle Sap Lake in the western half of the country and wind their way through the middle of the country following the course of the Mekong River. The two basins actually form a single body of water, the whole of which affects about 75% of Cambodia's land cover. The Mekong River and its tributaries increase water volumes in spring, May, on the northern hemisphere, mainly caused by melting snows. As the Mekong enters Cambodia, over 95% of its waters have already joined the river, it widens and inundates large areas. The plain's deepest point, the Tinle Sap, flooded area varies from a low of around with a depth of around 1 meter at the end of the dry season, April, to on a depth of up to 9 meters in October November. This figure rose to during 2000 when some of the worst flood conditions recorded caused over 800 deaths in Cambodia and Vietnam. Inflow starts in May-June with maximum rates of flow of around 10,000 meters per second by late August and ends in October-November, amplified by precipitation of the annual monsoon. In November the lake reaches its maximum size. The annual monsoon coincides to cease around this time of the year. As the Mekong River begins its minimum around this time of the year and its water level falls deeper than the inundated Tinle Sap Lake. Tinle Sap River and surrounding wetlands, waters of the lake's basin now drains via the Tinle Sap River into the Mekong. As a result the Tinle Sap River, length around, flows six months a year from southeast, Mekong, to northwest, lake, and six months a year in the opposite direction. The mean annual reverse flow volume in the Tinle Sap is, or about half of the maximum lake volume. A further 10% is estimated to enter the system by overland flow from the Mekong. The Mekong branches off into several arms near Phnom Penh and reaches Vietnamese territory south of Koh Tham and Lok Dake districts of Kandal Province. This region represents the eastern parts of the original extent of the wet evergreen forests that cover the Cardamom and Elephant Mountains in southwest Cambodia and along the mountains east of Bangkok in Thailand. The densely wooded hills receive rainfall of annually on their western slopes, which are subject to the southwest monsoons, but only on their eastern, rain shadow, slopes. The Cardamom slash Krav NH mountains occupying Koh Kong province and Kampong Spi province, running in a northwestern to southeastern direction and rising to more than the highest mountain of Cambodia, Penamoral, 
It is located in Aorl district in Kampong Spi province. The Cardamom Mountains form, including the northwestern part of Chantaburi province, Thailand, the Swadal Mountains, the Cardamom Mountains moist forest ecoregion, that is considered to be one of the most species rich and intact natural habitats in the region. The climate, size, and accessibility and seclusion of the mountains have allowed a rich variety of wildlife to thrive. The Cardamom and Elephant Mountains remain to be fully researched and documented. The Elephant Mountains Charpanam Damre, a north-south trending range of high hills, an extension of the Cardamom slash Crab NH Mountains, in southeastern Cambodia, rising to elevations of between 500 and 1,000 meters. Extending north from the Gulf of Thailand, they reach a high point in the Bak Ko Ridge at Mount Bokor near the sea. To the southwest of the southern mountain ranges extends a narrow coastal plain that contains the Kampong Sambe area in the Sinekville Peninsula, facing the Gulf of Thailand. The Dang Grek Mountains a forested range of hills averaging, dividing Thailand from Cambodia, mainly formed of massive sandstone with slate and silt. A few characteristic basalt hills are located on the northern side of the mountain chain. This east-west trending range extends from the Mekong River westward for approximately merging with the highland area near San Kampeng, Thailand. Essentially the southern escarpment of the sandstone Korat Plateau off northeastern Thailand, the Dangrek range slopes gradually northward to the Moon River in Thailand but falls more abruptly in the south to the Cambodian plain. Its highest point is. The watershed along the escarpment in general terms marks the boundary between Thailand and Cambodia, however there are exceptions. The region is covered in dry evergreen forest, mixed dipterocarp forest, and deciduous dipterocarp forests. Three species like Pterocarpus macrocarpus, Shoria siamensis and Xylia xylocarp of R. Carry dominate. Illegal logging are issues on both, the Thai as well as on the Cambodian side, leaving large hill stretches denuded. Vulnerable tree species such as Dalbergia cochinchinensis have been affected. Forest fires are common during the dry season. Anamite range lying to the east of the Mekong River. The long chain of mountains called the Anamite Mountains of Indochina and the lowlands that surround them make up the Greater Anamites ecoregion. Levels of rainfall vary from annually. Mean annual temperatures are about. This ecoregion contains some of the last relatively intact moist forests in Indochina. Moisture-laden monsoon winds, that blow in from the Gulf of Tonkin ensure permanent high air humidity. Plants and animals adapted to moist conditions, to seek refuge here and evolve into highly specialized types that are found nowhere else on Earth. Ethnically diverse more than 30 ethnic groups of indigenous people live in the Anamites, each with their distinctive and traditional music, language, dress and customs. The natural resources of the greater Anamites are vital to all of these people. Tall grasses and deciduous forests cover the ground east of the Mekong River in Mandulkiri, where the transitional plains merge with the eastern highlands at altitudes from. The landscape has suffered from rubber farming, logging and particularly mining, although sizable areas of pristine jungle survive, which are home to rare and endemic wildlife. Cambodia's coastal area covers, distributed among four provinces, Sinekville Province, Kampot Province, Kokong Province, and Kep Province. The total length of the Cambodian coastal area has been disputed. The most widely accepted length is, a 1997 survey by the Danido Organization announced it a length that, and in 1973 the Oil Authority found the coast to be long. The Food and Agriculture Organization claims a length of in one of its studies. The southern mountain ranges drain to the south and west towards the shallow sea. Sediments on the continental shelf are the basis for extensive mangrove marshes, in particular in the Kokong Province and the Reem National Park. Cambodia's islands fall under administration of the four coastal provinces. There are 60 islands in Cambodia's coastal waters. They include 23 in Kokong Province, 2 in Kampot Province, 22 in Sinekville, and 13 in Kep City. Sick, most islands are apart from the two small groups off the outer islands, in relative proximity to the coast. The islands in the coastal region of Koh Kong province are mainly composed of Upper Jurassic and Lower Cretaceous sandstone massives. The northwesternmost islands near and around the Khao Pao River Delta, pre-K Khao Pao, area are to a great extent sediments off estuaries and rivers, very flat and engulfed in contiguous mangrove marshes. Cambodia's climate like that of much of the rest of mainland Southeast Asia is dominated by monsoons, which are known as tropical wet and dry because of distinctly marked seasonal differences. The monsoonal airflows are caused by annual alternating high pressure and low pressure over the Central Asian landmass. In summer, 
moisture-laden air, the southwest monsoon, is drawn landward from the Indian Ocean. The flow is reversed during the winter, and the northeast monsoon sends back dry air. The southwest monsoon brings the rainy season from mid-May to mid-September or to early October, and the northeast monsoon flow of drier and cooler air lasts from early November to March. Temperatures are fairly uniform throughout the Tinley Sap Basin area, with only small variations from the average annual mean of around. The maximum mean is about, the minimum mean, about. Maximum temperatures of higher than, however, are common and, just before the start of the rainy season, they may rise to more than. Minimum night temperatures sporadically fall below. In January, the coldest month. May is the warmest month, although strongly influenced by the beginning of the wet season, as the area constitutes the easternmost fringe of the southwest monsoon. Tropical cyclones only rarely cause damage in Cambodia. The total annual rainfall average is between, and the heaviest amounts fall in the southeast. Rainfall from April to September in the Tinley Sap Basin Mekong Lowlands area averages annually but the amount varies considerably from year to year. Rainfall around the basin increases with elevation. It is heaviest in the mountains along the coast in the southwest, which receive from to more than of precipitation annually as the southwest monsoon reaches the coast. This area of greatest rainfall, however, drains mostly to the sea, only a small quantity goes into the rivers flowing into the basin. Relative humidity is high throughout the entire year, usually exceeding 90%. During the dry season daytime humidity rates average around 50% or slight little hour, climbing to about 90% during the rainy season. The Mekong River and its tributaries comprise one of the largest river systems in the world. The central Tinle Sap, the Great Lake has several input rivers, the most important being the Tinle Sap River, which contributes 62% of the total water supply during the rainy season. Direct rainfall on the lake and the other rivers in the sub-basin contribute the remaining 38%. Major rivers are the Sen River, Srang River, Stung Palisat River, Sisyphan River, Mongkhal Bore River, and Sankey River. Smaller rivers in the southeast, the Cardamom Mountains and Elephant Range form separate drainage divides. To the east the rivers flow into the Tinle Sap, as in the southwest rivers flow into the Gulf of Thailand. Toward the southern slopes of the Elephant Mountains, small rivers flow southeastward on the eastern side of the divide. The Mekong River flows southward from the Cambodia-Laos border to a point south of Kratie, town, where it turns west for about an end turns southwest towards Phnom Penh. Extensive rapids run north of Kratie City. From Kampong Cham Province the gradient slopes very gently, and inundation of areas along the river occurs at flood stage. From June through November. Through breaks in the natural levees that have built up along its course. At Phnom Penh, four major water courses meet at a point called the Chadomuk, four faces. The Mekong River flows in from the northeast, and the Tinle Sap River emanates from the Tinle Sap, flows in from the northwest. They divide into two parallel channels, the Mekong River proper and the Basak River, and flow independently through the delta areas of Cambodia and Vietnam to the South China Sea. The flow of water into the Tinle Sap is seasonal. In spring, the flow of the Mekong River, fed by monsoon rains, increases to a point where its outlets through the delta can't handle the enormous volume of water. At this point, the water pushes northward up the Tinle Sap River and empties into the Tinle Sap Lake, thereby increasing the size of the lake from about to about at the height of the flooding. After the Mekong's waters crest, when its downstream channels can handle the volume of water, the flow reverses, and water flows out of the engorged lake. As the level of the Tinle Sap retreats, it deposits a new layer of sediment. The annual flooding, combined with poor drainage immediately around the lake, transforms the surrounding area into marshlands, unusable for agricultural purposes during the dry season. The sediment deposited into the lake during the Mekong's flood stage appears to be greater than the quantity carried away later by the Tinle Sap River. Gradual silting of the lake would seem to be occurring, during low water level, it is only about deep while at flood stage it is between deep. Cambodia has one of the highest levels of forest cover in the region as the interdependence of Cambodia's geography and hydrology makes it rich in natural resources and biological diversity, among the bio-richest countries in Southeast Asia. The Royal Government of Cambodia estimates Cambodia contains approximately 10.36 million hectares of forest cover, representing approximately 57.07% of Cambodia's land area, 2011. On the contrary, international observers and independent sources provide rather different numbers. Consensus permeates, as most sources agree, 
that deforestation, loss of seasonal wetlands and habitat destruction among countless minor factors, correlates with the absence of strict administrative control and indifference in law enforcement, not only in Cambodia but entire region. Figures and assessments are numerous as are available sources. As seen in numbers below, which provide a wide range for interpretation. About 1% of forest cover is planted forest. Overall, Cambodia's forests contain an estimated 464 million metric tons of carbon stock and living forest biomass. Approximately 40% of Cambodia's forests have some level of protection, while one of the Cambodia Millennium Development Goals targets is to achieve a 60% forest cover by 2015. According to the Forestry Administration statistics, a total of 380,000 hectares of forest were cleared between 2002 and 2005 2006, a deforestation rate of half a percent per year. The main cause of deforestation has been determined to be large scale agricultural expansions. The Southern Annamites Montane Rainforest Eco Region of the Montane Forests of Kantu Emia, the Dragon's Tail in the remote northwest of Cambodia, were the boundaries of Cambodia. Laos, and Vietnam meet, is remarkably rich in biodiversity. The relatively intact forests occupy a broad topographic range from lowlands with wet evergreen forests to montane habitats with evergreen hardwood and conifer forests. The complex geological, topographic and climatic, rainfall and temperature, facets that characterize the region make forest structure and composition unique and very variable. There is an unusually high number of near-endemic and endemic species among the many species to be found in the area. The entire eco-region has a size of the Tin Lay Sap, also known as the Great Lake in central Cambodia is the largest freshwater lake in Southeast Asia and one of the richest inland fishing grounds in the world. The lake functions as a natural flood water reservoir for the Mekong system as a whole and therefore is an important source of water for the Mekong Delta during the dry season. The ecosystem has developed as a result of the Mekong's seasonal flow fluctuations. A belt of freshwater mangroves known as flooded forests surrounds the lake. The floodplains in turn are surrounded by low hills, covered with evergreen seasonal tropical forest with substantial dipterocarp vegetation or deciduous dry forest. The eco-region consists of a mosaic of habitats for a great number of species. The forest gradually yields to bushes and finally grassland with increasing distance from the lake. Henri Mu, travels in the central parts of Indochina 1864. On higher quality soils or at higher elevation, areas of mixed deciduous forest and semi-evergreen forests occur. This variety of vegetation types accounts for the quantity and diversity of species of the Great Lake ecosystem. Interlocking forest Grassland and marshland patches provide the many facets and refugiae for the abundant local wildlife. The lake's flooded forest and the surrounding floodplains are of utmost importance for Cambodia's agriculture as the region represents the cultural heart of Cambodia, the center of the national freshwater fishery industry, the nation's primary protein source. Threats to the lake include widespread pollution, stress through growth of the local population which is dependent on the lake for subsistence and livelihood over-harvesting of fish and other aquatic, often endangered, species, habitat destruction and potential changes in the hydrology, such as the construction and operation of dams, that disrupt the lake's natural flood cycle. However, concerns that the lake is rapidly filling with sediment seem, according to studies to be unfounded at the present time. Wetlands cover more than 30% of Cambodia. In addition to the Mekong River and the Tinle Sap floodplain there are the Stung Sen River and the coastal Stung Kopau and stung cap estuaries of Koh Kong province and Kep province. The freshwater wetlands of Cambodia represent one of the most diverse ecosystems worldwide. The area's extensive wetland habitats are the product of the annual Mekong Maximum, the simultaneous wet season and the drainage paths of a number of minor rivers. See also Geography of Cambodia Hash Hydrology The numerous and varied wetlands are Cambodia's central and traditional settlement area, the productive environments for rice cultivation freshwater fisheries, other forms of agriculture and aquaculture and the constantly growing tourism sector. Considering the eco-region's importance, a variety of plans for local wetland management consolidation exist with varying degrees of completion. The Cambodian coastline consists of, of over 30 species of mangroves, among the most biologically diverse wetlands on earth. The most pristine mangrove forests are found in Koh Kong province. In addition to mangroves, sea grass beds extend throughout the coastal areas, especially in Kampot Province, the Sinekville Bay Delta and the Kep Municipal Waters. The meadows are highly productive, but few animals feed directly in the grasses. 
those that do tend to be vertebrates such as sea turtles, dabbling ducks and geese. With their roots deep in mud, jagged and gnarled mangrove trees are able to grow in the brackish wetlands between land and sea where other plant life cannot survive. The trees offer refuge in nursery grounds for fish, crabs, shrimp, and mollusks. They are nesting, and migratory sites for hundreds of bird species. They also provide homes for monkeys, lizards, sea turtles, and many other animals as well as countless insects. Until relatively recently, the mangroves of Koh Kong, Cambodia have remained relatively intact. This is partly because of the region's location, it is an isolated, inaccessible place, and because decades of war and conflict perversely protected the forests from overexploitation. Local people, however, tended to use the forest's sustainability, for food, fuel, medicine, building materials, and other basic needs. Cambodia is home to a wide array of wildlife. There are 212 mammal species, 536 bird species, 176 reptile species, including 89 subspecies, 850 freshwater fish species, 10 Laysap Lake area, and 435 marine fish species. Many of the country's species are recognized by the Yukonor World Conservation Union as threatened, endangered, or critically endangered due to deforestation and habitat destruction, poaching, illegal wildlife trade, farming, fishing, and unauthorized forestry concessions. Intensive poaching may have already driven Cambodia's national animal, the copri, to extinction. Wild tigers, elves deer, wild water buffaloes and hog deer are at critically low numbers. The 1993 Royal Decree on the Protection of Natural Areas recognized 23 protected areas, which at the time covered more than 18% of the country's total land area. Cambodia borders Vietnam over a length of, Thailand over a length of and Laos over a length of, with in total and an additional of coastline. The capital, Reach Thani, and provinces, Kae, of Cambodia are first level administrative divisions. Cambodia is divided into 25 provinces, including the capital. Municipalities and districts are the second level administrative divisions of Cambodia. The provinces are subdivided into 159 districts and 26 municipalities. The districts and municipalities in turn are further divided into communes, Kham, and quarters, Sangkot. Cambodia, Laos, and Vietnam have experienced major changes in land use and land cover over the last two decades. The emergence from Cold War rivalries and recent major economic reforms result in a shift from subsistence agrarian modes of production to market-based agricultural production and industrialized economies, which are heavily integrated into regional and global trade systems. Cambodia's boundaries were for the most part based upon those recognized by France and by neighboring countries during the colonial period. The boundary with Thailand runs along the watershed of the Dangrek Mountains, although only in its northern sector. The border with Laos and the border with Vietnam result from French administrative decisions and do not follow major natural features. Border disputes have broken out in the past and do persist between Cambodia and Thailand as well as between Cambodia and Vietnam. Area BR Total BR Land BR Water, Maritime Claims BR Territorial Sea BR Contiguous Zone BR Exclusive Economic Zone BR Continental Shelf, Elevation Extremes BR Lowest Point, Gulf of Thailand BR Highest Point, Panamayoral Border Disputes, Lakes In late 1969, the Cambodian government granted a permit to a French company to explore for petroleum in the Gulf of Thailand. By 1972, none had been located, and exploration ceased when the Khmer Republic, see Appendix B, fell in 1975. Subsequent oil and gas discoveries in the Gulf of Thailand and in the South China Sea, however, could spark renewed interest in Cambodia's offshore area, especially because the country is on the same continental shelf as its Southeast Asian oil producing neighbors. Total Renewable Water Resources Freshwater Withdrawal, Domestic-Industrial-Agricultural Issues A nascent environmental movement has been noticed by NGOs, and it is gaining strength, as the example of local resistance against the building of a Chinese hydroelectric dam in the Aring Valley shows. Consequences Cambodia is party to the following treaties. Signed, but not ratified. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.